Sutton on the farm. We're checking back in with Alan at the Deloso Family Farm. Also, she's not your average wrench. We are headed out back live with a Baker Bay who does more than just build motorcycles. She's also a killer clothing designer. Cool. <laughs> to the bathroom sink. The awesome sauce doesn't stop there. That is because the biker babe we met, interior designer, also has a clothing line. She is Shasta Smith. She is our truck tracker subject this morning, and she joins us again live from her Sacramento home. Hi, Shasta. Hey. Well, so you are, for, uh, we get caught, people caught up from the last hour, you are an interior designer. You uh, make over motorcycles, sometimes incorporate them into your designs, and now you also have a clothing line, I hear. I do have a clothing line because um, even though I do motorcycles, I I can't produce enough motorcycles to sell to people that want them. So <laughs> and especially internationally. Um, so I have a a clothing line that uh, supports the brand, the Vintage Monkey. And what you see now is a small sampling of the clothing line. Some of our more popular pieces that get that get shipped all over the world. Wow, that's fantastic. And so have you've always, I take it you've always been a real creative person your whole life. Um, yeah, I, I come from a creative line of uh, women in my family. <laughs> <laughs> Very hands-on. Yeah. So how do people learn about your, your business? Who, you know, what kind of people have you uh, done work for? Well, um, fortunately, I've done work for, um, late, lately, um, the DIY channel, uh, Bath Crashers, was just an episode that we finished up. And, um, and you know, most people that I do work for, they, they hear about me through uh, word of mouth and also through the, the vintagemonkey.com. Um, I also do a very interactive blog. Um, probably about some often seven days a week and uh, the vintage monkey does have a Facebook page and it's updated on a daily basis of all kinds of shenanigans that uh, the vintage monkey is into including the motorcycles the apparel and the, d the design yeah I gotta tell you know and I'm sure people have noticed this about you before you don't really have the look of someone who would be making over and modifying motorcycles no, no, I, uh, <laughs> I actually, I, I get that often when people say, oh, what do you do for a living? And I say, well, you know, I, uh, I modify and design vintage motorcycles, and it kind of catches them off guard a little bit. <laughs> and um, I say, no, and at heart, I'm a woman, and I, I, like, I like being a girl, so, um, <laughs> so no, I, I, I like my high heels. <laughs> Is there a motorcycle out there in the motorcycle universe that if you could get your hands on one and make it over, that would be your dream bike to do? Um, yeah, that's a really good question. I, you know, there, I do have, uh, I'm a big fan of vintage Nortons and vintage Triumphs, and um, I don't know that I would modify it if I got a hold of it. I might do restoration <laughs> work, just because I, I think just, uh, I, I, would, I, I would be too scared to, you know, alter it from its, its vintage appearance, and I'd probably just stick it right in my living room. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if we have the picture of the motorcycle that you made over into the, um, into the bathroom sink can. I know we had that last hour, but do you mentally, when you see motorcycles out on the road, do you mentally think about what you could do with those bikes, the t things you could make with them, do with them? Well, you know, not so much the motorcycles and motorsports that are out on the street. What I like to see are things that are in boneyards and junkyards. Yeah, yeah. And I like to see what we can make into them because the 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 motorcycle that was used for the vanity was um, was was actually found in a boneyard. It was a, a frozen bike. Um, wow. it, you know, it it was missing so many pieces of the puzzle. It would have taken uh, you know many many hundreds of dollars, possibly thousands of dollars, to get it running again. Sure. So I made sure that we we picked out a motorcycle that. You know, it, that was, we, we'll call it re retire it. <laughs> right, right. It, it just couldn't be driven anymore. That was a cool, yeah. that was a cool sink. Probably one of the coolest things uh, I've ever seen. Shasta, thank you for being on Good oh, Day this you. morning. You're very talented. No, thank you. Very talented designer there for motorcycle lovers. Thanks. <laughs> well, Thanks. it's called Operation Surprise. We're going to drop by one of our newest, younger viewers' homes. Could it be you? Well, you're going to have to wait.